dear students today let us learn about the rate analysis of brickwork in your question paper they'll ask you like work out from the first principle the rate analysis of brickwork with cement mortar one is to six and the ground floor even if they don't ask the ground floor also you can assume that it is for the ground floor and you can work out if they ask if they particularly mention about the number of floor in which floor you have you need to work then you have to work out accordingly and this calculation is not only for the brickwork it is also for any building blocks whose dimension is known any building block whose dimension need to be uh, whose, which we know the dimension it can be of mortar block cement block or any concrete block now before we start with we need to know the dimension of single brick we know that the standard brick dimension in india will be of this size 90 mm by 90 mm by 190 mm this is the standard dimension of the brick without mortar if we add the mortar thickness uh, along all the sides along all the sides 10 mm will be added so its dimension will increase accordingly now let us consider the 10 cubic meter of brickwork if this is a wall of 10 cubic meter then we need to find out what is the cost for the brick cement as well as for the sand separately and the labor required so all together we are going to work out the rate for the construction of brickwork for 1 cubic meter to find out the cost of 1 cubic meter we are considering the calculation for 10 cubic meter and then we are reducing it to the 1 cubic meter at the end now right now we are working for the 10 cubic meter of brickwork in this you need to find out if this is a wall of 10 cubic meter here you need to find out how many number of bricks are required to find out because the rate of the brick will be for each single brick and cement will be in terms of bags and the sand will be in terms of cubic meter so we need to work out accordingly in this 10 cubic meter of brick wall we need to find out how many number of bricks are required to construct to find out uh, since we know the volume of single brick we can work out easily 10 is the total volume of the brick work we are working out divided by volume occupied by single brick along with the mortar we need to add 10 mm along this side so it will become 90 mm plus 1 mm sorry 10 mm it will be of uh, 0.1 by 0.1 and along this side another 10 mm if we add it will become 200 mm that is equal to 0.2 remember all these dimensions are in meters not in mm here the dimensions are in mm so when we divide this we will get 5000 bricks so to construct 10 cubic meter of wall we need 5000 bricks this 5000 uh, in this 5000 bricks around these single 5000 bricks each and every around each and every brick there is a volume now there is a mortar so you need to find out what is the volume of mortar which is required to use this 5000 brick so to do that you need to subtract uh, 5000 number of bricks without mortar minus this 10 cubic meter in this 10 cubic meter wall let us deduct this 5000 5000 number of bricks without mortar that is 5000 into without mortar the dimension of the brick will be 0.09 that is this dimension which is converted into meters that's all if we subtract this we will get 2.3 cubic meter this is the volume of the net volume of the mortar which is required to use this 5000 bricks but in practice 
uh, there will be a waste stages there will be a mortar which is used for frog filling waste stages etc and also this is the volume of wet mortar we we are going to find out the volume of dry mortar for that also we need we are going to add one third extra for this so to start with we first we, sh uh, we should add 15% extra for frog filling and waste stages that is 2.3 plus 15% of this 2.3 it comes to 2.65 this is also the volume of wet mortar including the waste stages uh, for this we need to add one third extra to convert it into a dry mix this i have already explained so 2.65 plus one third of 2.65 will come to 3.5 cubic meter. This is the volume of dry mortar which is required to construct 10 cubic meter of brickwork including waste stages, etc. and rem uh, removing any allowances, etc. So out of this 3.5 cubic meter of mortar, we need to work out what is the volume of cement and what is the volume of sand separately. For this, we need to know the uh, mortar ratio which is used for the construction. Here they said it is 1 is to 6. In your question paper, if they have mentioned the ratio of the mortar, well and good, you can work out accordingly. But if they don't mention, you can go for 1 is to 4 or 1 is to 6 accordingly, according to your convenience. So now, out of this 3.5 cubic meter, since it is 1 is to 6 ratio, here in this 1 is to 6, one part will be of cement and six parts will be of sand. So let us divide this 3.5 into seven equal parts. That is 3.5 divided by the sum of this ratio. You will get 0.5. That means if we divide this 3.5 cubic meter into seven equal parts, each part will be of volume 0.5 cubic meter. So as I said, one part will be of cement, that is 0.5, and six parts will be of sand, that comes to a three cubic meter. Since we have the rates of the cement in terms of bags, we need to convert this volume into a bags. So we know that one bag of cement contains 0.0347 cubic meter of cement. So 0.5 divided by this volume will give you 14.41 bags. We can convert it into 15 bags. Always go for the higher value. So to construct this 10 cubic meter of brickwork, we need 15 bags of cement and 3 cubic meter of sand. So now uh, we need to put this table. This table I have explained. And before this table, you have to write this. This is mandatory. Rates are considered as per the SR book of 1819 Bangalore Circle. So materials, first comes the materials. We need bricks, cement, sand, and scaffoldings and some ropes for the labors. So bricks, we have discussed, it is 5,000. Cement is 15 bags and sand is 3 cubic meter. From this calculations, we have taken here and it's corresponding units and rates we have taken from the rates table here this you have to remember for cement sand everything i have given the rates i'll be sending this you can use it and remember so these are the values of that when you multiply this quantity and rate you will get the amount column now for the scaffolding and the ropes, you can leave a lump sum amount of rupees 5,000, which is used for which is used for the labors to con during the construction time. And the labors, we need head mason, mason, master, and this fee. Uh, this also I have taken from the labors table. This is based on trial and error. I have just approximated to it. This is the one brick masonry work ground floor. Details of the labor, the number of labors, and this is for the first floor. You can observe the in, there is increase of few labors. So first, we'll let us concentrate on this ground floor. We have these type of labors and this much. So copy down here. You have to remember the labor table also. Uh, and this rates also have taken from the rates table. 
and multiply these two, you'll get the amount. This is the subtotal. Now, you need to add the contingencies, tools and plants because to mix the mortar, some extra tools are required and some extra uh, tools, labors, a few other uh, miscellaneous charges will be there but this is for the contingencies tools and plants so you can leave the three percent of the above charge for this subtotal is this out of this the five percent you can leave it for contingencies tools and plants now you add the subtotal and this three percent you will get the total amount uh, for this, as usual, leave 1.5% for the water charge, 10% profit, and you will get the grand total like this. And remember, this is the amount for 10 cubic meter of the work, but we need to find out the rate per cubic meter. So you have to divide it with the amount, uh, with the quantity which we, are, which we have worked for, that is 10 cubic meter. So if you divide it, you will get rupees 6,540 rupees. So to construct a brickwork of one cubic meter, you need 6,540 rupees. This is according to 2018-19 Bangalore. It depends, it purely depends on the place where you are working and the year, everything, it matters. And the uh, type of cement which you are using, grade of sand, quality of cement, sand, bricks, everything, it matters. This is a general value. Okay, so let us see what's the change if we do for the first floor. Everything is same. The quantity of cement, bricks, sand, nothing, no change will be there. Except I have highlighted here for the scaffolding and ropes. You can observe here if, if the labors has to work in this floor, extra labors as well as the scaffolding, ropes and many more will be added to it. Uh, why labors? Because to put the scaffolding, extra scaffolding to tie it, to operate it, to transport it, extra labors are required. So uh, you can observe there is an increase in the lump sum value. Here we have taken 500 rupees. Here it has doubled 1000. And the mason and master also increased 15 and 18. Here you can observe it is 10 and 15. Here it is 15 and 18. So these are the only changes if they ask for the first floor. Uh, if they ask for the second floor, you can increase this to 2500 and you can go for mason as 20 and master as 20, 22 like that. One or two variations is accepted, but the, let there be no too much of variations in the number of labors or rates which we have considered. So you can observe it is 7,025 rupees. Here it is 6,540 rupees. These are the changes between ground floor and first floor. I hope you got uh, the calculation of rate analysis of the brickwork. Thank you.